Most people know when picking a quality LED bulb that you want the LED chips to replicate the halogen filament as accurately as possible. Now one step that most people don't think about when choosing a bulb is ensuring that that bulb is clockable so that you can best distribute that light throughout the reflector housing. What a lot of people don't realize is that without clocking your bulb properly, this light may end up scattering into oncoming driver's eyes, not down the road where you need it. Now, if you're not already familiar, this is a reflector housing. You can see it's got these mirrored facets going outwards and you want those LED chips to be aligned so they're facing directly out to the left and right to reflect off of those facets properly. So you can see on the Morimoto two stroke 3.0, I want the bulb to be perfectly up and down so that the chips are facing to the left and right. Depending on the brand of clockable bulb that you get, this lock ring is going to turn a little bit differently. For example, on this bulb that I'm holding here, you'll depress it and then rotate as needed. On other bulbs like the SV4, you're using an Allen key to release the screw, rotate the collar as needed, and then lock it into place where you need it. So when choosing an LED bulb, just make sure you get one that's clockable and you can rotate it properly within your reflector housing. <laughs>